I think actually you confirmed several times verbally that uh, he'll do anything with you. Mm -hmm. He's just uh, put forward and he's not uh, proficient in administrative things, so instead of sending emails and planning to make a call for that, he has a good deal to do. Mm -hmm. um, I think mean, major words. Mm -hmm. If you do the just four times, you be ready. So for four, uh, Sandor, Christy, James, much guarantee of funding your airfare, it will be purchased. It will be so for the students.
I probably have to do like a practice with my comprehensive job. So much better for me because I didn't think it was perfect just to come into this. What is it? Um, there's no deadline, but I'm almost done with the part. And that's like the labor intensive part. Mm -hmm. So then once I have that, it's just basically following the presentation in a simpler format than that lab group part. So hoping to have three reports done. Well, it's hoping to have done by the beginning of the semester, but then yeah, they're hoping for the end of the month mm -hmm. that all hired out for any first submission for the school. So you can report you need four presentation. Right, so a written part in the small presentation in front of the my uh, committee members. Yeah. So you can four something like that. Yes, it just depends on what I can get all of the advisors scheduled before or after. It's probably easier for the later. There's no set that long. Yep, um, Maybe before you get to the people who are seeing the pictures. With those and other, for those that don't come to me, seem to be not clear, like the man who is in the council, I think it's not a little bit of a machine tool. The machine tool is developed to manage it. It's used to do it. It was a friend of one piece of paper called Special Technology Kit. I'm going to share with you. Maybe it would be maybe just show two or something in the world.
so there is a um, motivation for uh, systems like with that is that uh, carbon nanotubes are good for mechanical conducting electricity and absorbing it, but they are very poor in emitting it. But if uh, so the lowest transition is, is dark. But if one attaches their uh, like the generating uh, like that or maybe this a little more advanced thing. The lowest excitation becomes great, and uh, there are attempts to use it uh, for telecommunications and for quantum computing. The, there are several challenges. Uh, Earlier thing that uh, um, you uh, had ideas how to, how to implement this. But, if one chemically synthesizes a variety of uh, such defects, depending on the mutual, mutual position, the defects are always pairwise. Depending on the mutual orientation of the defects and excess of the tube, they emit in slightly different frequency. If it is a very, very fine uh, resolution experiment, it is important. So the idea of human was to create a massive sample which has all orientations and then excite them with uh, high frequency uh, radiation of all frequencies except the good one. Then uh, exciting at wrong at frequencies, if you burn, if you communicate excitation and burn out the wrong defects, it will make them to dissolve from the surface. And then the only one that is in uh, corresponds to necessary frequency will survive and will be used. Am I reproducing it? Okay. And the original um, for carbon nanotubes, uh, there is a variety of them for numbers. Set up diameter and, and chirality and uh, Whoever does carbon nanotubes can uh, do it for a third of uh, trying 50 different uh, dampers and carabins. Uh, all these original ideas were placed in the isonomy chemistry or salt being deposited in, uh, in the presence of carbon nanotube, nitrogen dissolves and uh, is removed absorbs to the surface, and uh, this uh, changes its uh, physical properties. Today, the, uh, the interest to this practice is driven by uh, not only by applications and scientific community, but, but by two scenic and practical aspects. It, uh, there is a um, lot of um, Previous works in the of the group and theory of these models, and there is there is a there are experimental collaborators, so it is very easy to see. So there are the recent news which look like nothing new if you look uh, for um, from a bird's eye, uh, from global perspective, but in, in practical sense, it is. An important aspect. So, um, instead of um, this one, it was a you know, local idea just as a plan. This one was um, experimental with uh, um, activated just by temperature. And right now, they are going forward with a uh, third option where a real group containing chemicals are deposited to, to the surface of night tube uh, by assisted by laser. So laser is used not to um, dissolve the group but to absorb. 
and uh, there are already experimental evidence that it, it does work, but there is no uh, computational support. And it means uh, that uh, if, uh, if there is no computational support, it means that it is uh, highly demanded, and even if uh, things are done with errors, there will be a very forgiving uh, judgment. So the groups are uh, either nitro group or uh, anulin, which is uh, used in uh, textile as, as, as a proportion for the or either one of them is uh, growing. So do they excite the molecule? Yes, uh, they excite it with like uh, 270 it's 100 nanometers in the The carbon uh, in the tube itself would absorb in the wrong infrared. And uh, this, um, this UV peels off either hydrogen or boron and uh, makes it uh, active to its well. And uh, is there, again, there are no computations, although they have a very strong computation group, it is um, like three weeks old idea. Even strongest group cannot adjust at this, at this case. What's the driving force for this? Huh? What's the driving force for this? Because if you just inside the molecule, Maybe I'll get some radicals, right? They get radicals, but uh, it is known uh, that uh, mm, this one is uh, oxidizing, this one is reducing. So when, and correct me, although I am at the chemistry department and teaching some chemistry course, I have zero chemical background. So uh, when they have this radical, I know this one is in the presence of carbon energy, which can be considered as a of charges, it uh, experiences charge transfer. So this one withdraws the electron from, from the tube, this one submits electron from the tube, and then uh, the tube and uh, the group become uh, electrostatically charged. They are attracted to each other, and then it forms um, covalent uh, binding of this group to, to the carbon energy. So the carbon on the surface here is from uh, sp and it is the major thing why it becomes uh, optically active. So it breaks conjugation in the carbon energy. And um, this seems like uh, a little bit more Connected, whether it's more connected to the uh, experience dirt in the, in the group than the uh, desorption of the model. So um, one can try to just help them and provide uh, auxiliary computations in this just to help the computation or. Um, so was some center papers, or one can take uh, either collaborative or competitive way using this information and trying to do it. But uh, it seems like uh, interesting match between 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 demand and supply. Or the third way is to do nothing. I mentioned this idea in the edition. Uh, there was one in, in, in the question, and uh, the radio there was such uh, mentioning that carbon uh, tubes are very interesting sub direction. Uh, and makes this change to be more specific. Um, there is
There is a paper that uh, doesn't have the uh, year year problem in the 2020, but doesn't have the um, problem in the page. It's just accepted in this book. So this is one of the um, authors. Means this one, the product excited aromatic reactants in its own domain, or share the reference of the interest of the product. And so, if we are looking at the intensity of difference with the stock of signals, this time this reaction is going. So, it is. Um, what we do is uh, irradiating this UV light for a certain time, and then uh, putting off UV light and coating it with infrared. And depending on the intensity of the infrared uh, signals at different frequencies corresponding to uh, the steam tube and different effects uh, change with time. So the less signal. One and the other is there is a thing that uh, um, I wasn't reading, I just absorbed its whole discussions. If the Reactions of this photon induced desorption can be done. Uh, it, it is all done in the so. But uh, one can put a little tube and bubble either oxygen or argon. If one bubbles argon, it uh, removes oxygen from the soil, it becomes very pure water without any residual oxygen. And the frequency of um, of the defect in the infrared signatures of the defect become different. So um, the hypothetical mechanism is that um, in presence of oxygen system, uh, it is, since oxygen the first triplet state, the um, environment of these triplet oxygens uh, changes multiplicity of the reactants and drives the reaction slightly different, uh, different direction. So this um, possible possible hypothesis is that one uh, avoids molecular dynamics or reaction uh, as we do, or does traditional um, transition state surge and uh, intermediates. And repeats step of the steps of this uh, reaction with mandatory multiplicity for single and triple, there will be different reaction paths and there will be different products. So there is no clarity, but there is an evidence through this uh, argon of uh, oxygen bubbling that the reaction is sensitive. Um, and uh, one of the Ways is to, to test it. <coughs> a very inexpensive way is to like uh, find binding energies or product and reactants are taken um, all singles, and you get binding energy for single, or take uh, the carbon and tube before and after desorption in a tube. And check if, uh, if it will be a substantial difference. Another thing uh, which could uh, be checked is um, if, if you were practicing um, scan operation coordinate and transition state search in uh, Gaussian. There is a way to set up a uh, redundant coordinate and make, if, if you have uh, scientific intuition, what is the most probable reaction coordinate 
which uh, point is being broken and formed in a specific direction, instead of doing molecular dynamics or initial state search when, when all atoms are allowed to move, one can intentionally scan the coordinate. And uh, one of the options is to be, like, uh, prepare a reacting product or uh, reacting the aluminum and hydrogen dissolved the product when they are dissolved in the product. And um, make continuous distance between hydrogen and balloon and this uh, balloon carbon on the surface has continuous value. As we see, how things are the little energy changes along this uh, direction. Last summer, we were visited by a uh, researcher from Netherlands. Average and life, and he shared his experience with the truth. So if uh, one wants to do a dimensional events or a uh, very important reaction that exhausts human ability to do, he suggests to, to, to find transition state and um, simulate. Molecular dynamics twice to the left and to the right in position state, then just invert time for one. So if one finds a train, uh, why I'm mentioning it? Because uh, there were several uh, group members from this group and other groups were trying to do molecular dynamics for this career and program uh, and chip, and because it was going in the right way, but very, very slow. Slower than uh, the impression signal is lower than the uh, patient resources. And uh, if you think about it, if anyone tries to move, if we ever see possible complications, one can first do a scan of the reaction problem, find a state that configuration that gives the highest energy, and then simulate all the dynamics twice. One web is going to the product, one web will be returned uh, back to the web. And maybe connect this to trajectory to the Or go to trajectory mm -hmm. goes uh, as a back reaction, then invert all uh, velocities in the opposite direction, hold that it will go into to the product. There is no guarantee that it will work, but if it's uh, uh, plan B if nothing else is as well. Just to be a little too short and point. And one may expect that for this way one of the units will be uh, charged charged species. What doesn't mean intentionally oh I can be wrong it's only one way like human hypothetical but uh, maybe one doesn't need uh, to practice our standard uh, dynamics of the church transfer because uh, if one just finds lowest common state or whatever, uh, if one uh, tries to do TDSMD, then uh, certain pairs of protocols or you correspond to church transfer and make our uh, nature and then some form in the cradle. <laughs> the experimentalists uh, tell the truth that is not mentioned in the paper that uh, we add not only oxygen or carbon but also a little fraction of the second of the speeds up the, the direction. They don't use any worry the scheme of the direction that it could play a play role. And uh, if instead of hydrogen there is a woman, it does the same direction as true. Um, obviously Robert in the last semester we have seen that the woman moves uh, carbon very quickly it's, it's, uh, well studied for the chemical reaction. So um, after 
the listening to after listening to uh, what is being in the air the interest in the surroundings uh, uh, it was a spark to push forward the research manuscript properly by you so it is the credit was completed I'm just showing a uh, summary of how, how I understood his work. So please decide. I may miss some important portions. So, um, in about a year ago, we were trying to help this group and uh, simulate this uh, type of objects. And since objective challenges for absorption and desorption of the several groups to carbon in the tubes. Uh, and we really spent a lot of numerical and human resources in this. We decided to just uh, do a short path and try to do things that uh, will work for guarantee. So let's uh, to study absorption of this potassium salt from the silicon, because silicon is more reactive and takes much shorter time to see it. But the way to analyze these uh, reactions can be very similar and serve as the learning step towards understanding this uh, early group and social problematics. Uh, last week we were chatting by emails with you and he noticed that some uh, schematic diagrams here have errors, and I'm very curious what, 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 what is erroneous on the other. I really think that our errors. Maybe others will find them as well, so I'm very curious. Um, maybe you don't like to put charge into uh, the one atom instead of. Uh, Instead of putting the overall charge. But uh, the um, idea for the work that has been completed that uh, uh, an ion cation uh, cell is deposited on the surface. Previously, we were thinking about carbon and tube, and now it is deposited to the surface of silicon, which is like uh, infinite. Slab, and we are uh, looking only on the um, one surface atom that will absorb uh, the, uh, the group. So the, the rest will be just uh, uh, a lot of silicon spores, which are four coordinate of the silicon in the surface, are uh, three coordinate to silicon and one coordinate to hydrogen. So we expected. Outcome of such reaction is that uh, if we remove the formation between the surface of the covalent bond between the uh, surface uh, silicon and uh, carbon, and there will be no charges here, there will be neutral. And what is uh, the difference between this configuration and this will be to nitrogen and hydrobolin basically. So there are two questions. One, is this reaction possible? What is the pathway for this reaction? And second question, how does this change affect uh, optical properties of the circle of the surface? So the first So this is, this goes very quick, 
just uh, for those uh, humans who don't have passions. And I'm going to create the same movie once again with uh, a smaller, smaller page. So uh, this is a slab of silicon, and the top layer is coordinated with hydrogen. But the uh, visualization doesn't show silicon silicon bonds which is software, but it's about eight or six layers of silicon. And there is a original, if we start with the So this basin um, salt, where this carbon hydrogen point is basically weak, um, there is a coil of charge and negative charge on the body. When uh, you have a certain temperature, this unstable form is uh, broken in this uh, stable magic in the Then there is a uh, reactive cation. So uh, the question is how this uh, reactive cation will interact with science. And uh, right now, each Silicon that is uh, on the surface is terminated by hydrogen. And before form um, carbon to hydrogen, one can needs to remove hydrogen from the surface. So, uh, we will hope and we will do the application that the um, anion of warming is directed enough to, pull, to polarize the surface and pull the hydrogen out of it. So if you make one of the uh, silicons uh, uncovered, make the view a bit more reactive so that you'll be able to absorb uh, this absorbent. So after a certain time, the nitrogen leaves, the distance from carbon to nitrogen starts to increase substantially. Then for a period of time, nothing, nothing is uh, changed. And then if you watch the room, so it's very smooth in the So if we uh, watch for a certain time, uh, the bottom approaches the surface. And if you be very quick, So it uh, approaches closer and at some uh, distance it can be hypothesized that uh, in presence of this anion the recinge of the surface getting polarized, and hydrogen becomes uh, less problem and the uh, nearby silicon surface becomes uh, anion, negative, and this proton uh, to the silicon uh, connection becomes loser less uh, strong and the problem departs shape and it jumps onto bone for getting hydro bone so this one is here Pushing and the silicon is uh, spread and attracts the carbon without hydrogen and it forms a carbon to hydrogen bond, which uh, seems stable. So it is covered here by the image, but uh, this uh, carbon to silicon bond uh, stabilizes the surface. So this is uh, chemistry, and then we can also look into the um, potential and uh, So in this uh, population there were no human immediate um, procedure, there were no aspect of it, it is just snapshots of the uh, potential energy along the trajectory. So since in order to shorten the human patients and in order to uh, minimize the amount of resources in order to shorten the population of the tank. The temperature was elevated substantially higher than it was actually going on in the experiment. It's done at room temperature. 
uh, it might try to build a mission more components for the like couple of million between the temperature of the project that can we see the same sequence of events but much quicker. So um, but as a shortcoming of this elevated temperature, uh, the main signal is uh, covered by a lot of operations of noise. So the main trends are have a variety of spikes up and down all observables because of the motion. So here is the same time scale and these three lines are merged with the carbon nitrogen, chromatin, uh, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So when we see the departure of the nitrogen from the diazone itself, uh, there is a trend the puts rather cooler in, instead of this particular friction. So the potential energy raises and drops back, which can be interpreted as the actual failure when the uh, nitrogen is uh, connected to the area, it is stable, when it is mid range, it is unstable, and when it goes further, it stabilizes back. So, when, uh, so it's overcoming the potential barrier. So another uh, really action is when warming pulls hydrogen and stabilizes in hydrogen uh, So it's in, in spite of uh, a lot of fluctuations, general trend of the engineering goes noticeably down. And you can be interpreted this hydrogen it is rather stable. Uh, and uh, another second further, and another uh, trend is that uh, when the silicon carbon point uh, is forming, there is another uh, substantial drop in energy which happens in the next. Exothermic reaction is carbon to silicon um, Why it goes back? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because uh, there's so many degrees of freedom and uh, in average the system is not burning or uh, decomposing. So, uh, I would be happy to find more of each sort of explanation. But generally, in average, Goes down, but not uh, at this question. I may find more detailed explanation. Or, alternatively, I may try to pull the units, they should get rid of uh, more of this noise, then it will get straight times from the Here are the same trends, but uh, this opposite sign for coming energy. So, we also have a very drop, temperature drops down, increases. So I have a And uh, here in this kinetic diagram, I was enjoying the robot. Uh, we wouldn't send an email uh, in a radio. There are so many errors that I shouldn't show it there. So, uh, will you please explain what should be collected or why this works? You can show our uh, I guess for me, make algorithms instead of the other thing charge or type of charge, but chemistry should be radical chemistry. So I can miss that. There is no positive charge on your field, it's that we should have failed that field. Mm. And here. So you, you think when nitrogen leaves, the bromine uh, becomes uh, neutral? So or, or it's uh, you just uh, suggest we stay, uh, we try to be careful and not specify what it must be. So I guess the first step is just a 
electron transfer. Uh -huh. So we have an electron transfer from silicon to the salt. Uh -huh. So as a result, so we have a <coughs> positive side here for the second. And uh, right here, so this, this will be a red. Would it, can it be your suggestion be interpreted by merging one and three into one correction step? Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can write my finger on this. So this will be the first reaction step. So it, uh, it creates positive charge and seal. Okay, yes. The final step will be just uh, compile this to records. Okay, so at each time step for the, for the complete simulation cell, there is only one positive and one negative for uh, for this complete conversion. Right. So the main point is that uh, there are two negative charges and one positive, mm -hmm. which is like uh, spontaneous uh, charging. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's three reaction steps instead of uh, four. We can also make it huh? We can also make it in four. So the final step will be two radicals come back together to form a command. Do you suggest any substantial changes to the schematic diagram instead of uh, in addition to changing the labels? Maybe some cosmetic. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you uh, do you read? Do you uh, you have software that reads uh, smiles uh, uh, type of? Did? No. What? Smiles. What are you talking me? Yes. Do you read smiles? You do. Which software do you use? Or you read it only as a human, you just take notation and interpret it. It's, 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 it's not very critical, I just found something in the internet, like Martin Sketch. And I, it, don't, I don't remember what the software. It can read and, uh, and read the software. software I have, it's called. It. Um, 
Can you can you tell to all of us what are smiles? Because it, it is also not my uh, primary expertise, but it is it is useful in, in chemical uh, chemistry. Um, for the physical part, so upon hydrogen has been uh, replaced by this allyl groups on the surface, he is expected to have some consequences in the photophysics, in, uh, in the thing that all of us are, are doing, how the system is responding to photo excitation, how the charges rearrange, how the energy changes with time. And um, the, uh, to be short, uh, this slide shows only the functionalized without reference point. So uh, there, um, there is an open dose, same as uh, it is fermented <coughs> hydrogens. And uh, if one looks for absorption spectrum, by the way, this is the thin film. So it is infinite in X and Y. So in, in some sense, it is uh, very close. Who's the infinite? David and, and Fatima. Right? You're doing uh, graphene as a two-dimensional material. This one is also two-dimensional material in the sense that it is, uh, um, it, it's not zero, zero thickness, but it is very, very thin. So uh, it is open here, and I think there are some features, and um, the gap transition is completely dark, and uh, the uh, gap would be around here, around one the over. And uh, starting from about 20 volts, there are pairs of orbitals um, that have non zero transition dipole and uh, are responsible for interaction with light. So, all credit here goes to you, just showing where I understood in much longer ministry than the um, What? If you look on these uh, transitions that give peaks in the absorption spectrum, not the states, not the squares of the if you look on the bright states that give non zero solar states, what is common in that? So you all are generating when down high, right? Uh, one or other project. Which means integrating over x and y and showing the church density for orbital as function z. So the uh, blue is uh, occupied orbital, whole minus something. Red is unoccupied, over plus something. So here are the pairs the uh, solid color are dependence on z direction. Of the pairs of orbitals that contribute to this uh, features in the in the, in the sort of stuff. If one would do such dependencies on Z for all orbitals, one would identify an interesting feature which is known for a long time for confined nanostructure. When one goes from infinite solid component structures, now I'm giving credit to arm to the elements the block theorem with uh, different values of momentum in the direction of component is replaced by envelope uh, similar to particle in the box uh, picture. And since we have confinement only in z direction, it will be very similar to particle in one dimensional place. So the atomic functions are uh, multiplied by, so to say, envelope function, which can have uh, mm. one, two, three, four uh, uh, peaks. Mm -hmm. It is interesting that pairs of occupied and unoccupied organisms that give maximum absorption have the same number of the uh, peaks in the envelope function. Which it it's, looks like an analogy to conservation law, conservation of the number of peaks. But it goes back to conservation of momentum. 
because the number of peaks uh, corresponds on the uh, overall uh, momentum going uh, reflecting from the walls. So for existing waves, uh, this opposite direction going forward and backwards. And by adding together to the exponential through the overall function, one gets this uh, cosine. So it means if the momentum of the blue and red uh, orbitals are the same, they give a uh, larger contribution to absorption. But on the language of the fine particles, it means if, uh, if, they have, if the envelope functions have the same number of particles. The pairs of orbitals that uh, are not literally totally discrete, position uh, number i, is substantially small. When this uh, rule is fulfilled better, then uh, peaks are much stronger. And this criterion can be helpful for selecting initial oxidations, of which pairs of orbitals to select as uh, IE and IH that Kevin uh, Lewis was describing. Right? Mm -hmm. So those that give, uh, well, your work is more on thermal electrics, but uh, in all other works related to photons, those, uh, th th this criterion, those orbitals that give stronger absorption would be good candidates for uh, initial alternate initial All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, there is a, one can put a, a theory about uh, how to rigorously show that uh, this conservation should be good for the or it is composed of atomic uh, part of the envelope. It contains a matrix element between pairs of orbitals. There will be two parts. One for uh, non coinciding atomic orbitals, but coinciding envelopes, it will be strongest. And another uh, portion, if the uh, envelopes are different, in this function will decay weakly as. Uh, Difference in number of the peaks and the So it will be non zero, but uh, um, decreasing peak. Okay. So if one creates an excitation of, of this model in uh, one of the bright peaks and uh, uses uh, the standard approach for monetary couplings and then Trajectory of molecular dynamics and plugs it as vertical tensor and interoxidation vertical tensor. So, energies of electrons drop down, energies of electrons floats up, and then comes to the gap. But for a substantial period of time, uh, there are transitions between orbitals which have similar and shape of envelope function. So, approximately up to uh, so 10 per second, 10 per second, 100 per second, maybe up to 500 per second, both uh, electron, yellow, has two maxima, and the whole has two maxima. So it keeps the same number of uh, envelope functions, and it is expected to be able to break. Then it starts more uh, vivid dynamics, uh, that is hard to uh, characterize, and at the end, there is more uh, one peak and low function for electron, something that can be very clearly the edges of the place. So one may expect that during the time period when the symmetry of orbitals, open orbitals, is staying approximately the same, the system is, be is becoming optically active and is able to contribute to the emissions. When uh, they start to rearrange uh, space, uh, it likely will be done. The state, the final state, home is expected to be almost dark, but since it has longer lifetime, it may give a little contribution each period of time, and the way in some words, it's still not uh, very strong as original. So, this one, and uh, we are not discussing methodology, we're just talking about. Results in the So, this uh, excitation is the first uh, strongest peak. And this um, diagram shows 
intensity of emission as uh, as function of, of the time and energy. So approximately to 100 femtoseconds, it stays uh, right in this range. And then it's over here contributes a little bit into, into the definition. And the signal here uh, deals mostly with what uh, Aaron was recently uh, computing about how to about uh, infrared emission. When uh, there are optical transitions within conduction then or within uh, the There was an open question that I can pretend to sound simple, but I would like to a better answer. Why on experiment uh, one uh, C one observes the density of the infra infrared in then emission lower than infrared. So here in the simulation they seem to be of the same order for infrared storm. But in, in most uh, experimental works, there are different types of equipment catch different ranges of see. They uh, I never heard of them even being interfering so so strong. So um, it is not that I cannot identify most uh, missing and growing part, but one needs more clarity this, this time. So you're saying the band gap energy is 0.8 so you see IR mm -hmm. one. It's, yes, it is in, in uh, IR, but in the simulation you can resolve the uh, optical photons that are generated uh, by the interplane and intraplane. Well, in the experiment, it is not possible because the photons are the photons. They don't care where they are. But uh, typically, the interband transitions are more intense than interband. Right. Uh, the only exception I'm aware of is this uh, Monday night boarding. In mean, so it's uh, interventions in more events. Here they are that um, if I would be a reviewer of myself, I would I wouldn't have uh, words to criticize it, but I like I would write that it's like strange and suspicious to uh, elaborate more on uh, analyzing explaining the details. And uh, this trend of um, original wavelengths is you know, somewhat more intense than the gap, or is the same. Yeah. Well, in, in, um, in materials that are designed to be optical emitters, in like uh, cadmium selenium, um, nanocrystals, in uh, peroxide nanocrystals, in uh, diamolecules, gap. Transition is, is uh, often very bright. And if one applies the same methodology, there, the emission of the gap is like two and a magnitude is uh, more intense than anything else. So that is my time. Yeah, I guess I see what you're saying now. Okay. Like a little bit longer than the other. States where that's the same. Mm -hmm. Approximately the same picture uh, happens if one excites it at different uh, wavelengths. The only difference is that if one excites high enough, there is an uh, uh, additional peak uh, in, in the middle. So maybe the excitation gets stuck. Uh, on the subject, and uh, with the longer and the But the uh, qualitative will picture that's uh, similar everywhere. And uh, another observation that if one looks not at the recombination lifetime, but the time of pulling of a carrier going from uh, excited 
to the to the edge of the of the bed. Uh, one can uh, analyze this uh, pooling time or lag time before before pooling as a function of uh, energy above the bottom edge, and it uh, follows the same trend. The uh, higher the energy, the shorter the time, the smaller the energy, the longer. Is it weight? It's not time. It's mm -hmm. Okay, so it is quicker or smaller uh, subject, mm -hmm. which follows uh, the smaller the energy it needs to overcome, mm -hmm. the quicker will be relaxation, which is referred to as that. When the when uh, this works, we do not collect. Uh, when one gets uh, this um, tenure uh, termination, and the rate of electron pooling stays approximately the same, but the rate of all pooling drops. And the interpretation is that the tenure of the links keep the um, charge inside the step they keep the lesson direction. Well, there is a quality uh, of uh, the difference in uh, uh, like several times different uh, sh also should be should be uh, It's in uh, open question. But uh, I noticed an orbital box. Huh? An orbital box. Uh -huh. The seems that the like the electron states didn't really this direction. Well, there is a quality uh, of uh, the difference in the uh, like several times different uh, also should be should be but uh, it's in a uh, whole But uh, I noticed an orbital plot. Huh? An orbital plot. Uh -huh. The projection seems that the uh, like the electron states didn't really. Yeah, this one or on. dynamics? This one. Uh -huh. So, like the red line, it never really goes on to the ligand, like the final groups, but the whole seems to. Yes. And uh, originally, I, I was uh, overlooking the uh, label here, and I thought it is, it is time which is short. Then it would be very logical. Then we would look onto the. Um, videos and looking that uh, the orbitals at the balance band contribute to continue with both uh, carbons and uh, silicons. And then um, the um, oscillations of, of, of carbons would speed up relaxation of any state in the balance band. But if it is Rate is lower than higher, then this, uh, this uh, explanation, this mechanism is, is, would not work. Another possible explanation, again, which we would be wrong here, that uh, frequency of uh, carbon to silicon oscillation is lower. The frequency of uh, carbon of silicon to hydrogen radiation. And smaller uh, frequency would be ready to accept any quantum and speed up the relaxation. But it's, it's not applicable here because one needs to find, if the results are correct, one needs to find a way to show why it is slower, why it is slower. It almost seems pretty biological. You have a very, very fast move, very, very slow. Well, but it, it's not time, it's energy. 
it, it is uh, each point is uh, rate as function of the energy offset. It's like two, two trends or maybe a couple of power flyers from the You would, would you like to criticize or offer your own explanation? I do not have a good explanation for this one. So, any suggestions? Because, uh, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yeah. That point 180, like the first points where it's. Yes, uh, it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And so that's. We so you'd still you'd basically still be in the silicon at that point. I don't know how uh, without log scale. I'm not sure if it terminates here or it has no zero contribution to the to the depth. So from orbitals, we see that uh, the charge is distributed in both silicon and carbons, mm -hmm. which would match uh, this this image. But with carbons, it slows. Why it slows down? There could be a hypothetical exp explanation again, just be with me and uh, not necessarily correct comparison in the space of hypothetical thoughts. If one redraw this image, this much narrower uh, width, it will be resolved on uh, several peaks. And these peaks will be offset. By a certain energy. If the offset of these uh, energies uh, will be or larger than the carbon to silicon frequency and silicon to silicon frequency, then it will meet a bottleneck. Mm -hmm. While uh, silicon to hydrogen can overcome this bottleneck and uh, give the pathway to. to um, Dissipate energy. The silicon to hydrogen uh, vibration frequency is like 0.3, much bigger than uh, carbon uh, to silicon. You still have some, because it's partial, only some of the hydrogen place. So you still have some hydrogen. Uh, in the model, all hydrogens are carbon. Are, 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 no, some. What will it fifty percent? Fifty percent. Yeah, that kind oh, of the, the car, uh, hydrogens are removed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it is a uh, very open question. So it is. It gets. Uh, about three times. Four, four times as slower realization. So, if you do not have immediate uh, insight on this uh, answer, uh, which additional numerical experiments may help? I have. Problem Yes, to overlay uh, the most and from the most to see if subgraphs here and the frequencies of from the most would much would coincide or this mm -hmm.
possible that the rings interact? What, 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 what interrupts? The, the pedal rings. And how will it slow down the execution? So the if it's by by stack, if stack? It's by stack, if you want to read it. So it's artificial slow down, reducing the amount of degrees of freedom. Something wrong. Like they, 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 they can go up and down certainly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and another thing that may, again, it is only a couple of this. We connect to uh, thermal uh, dynamics and statistical mechanics. If uh, it may work in the opposite direction, but uh, the normal modes are getting activated only if energy exceeds uh, the frequency of uh, this number. If uh, Temperature is lower. Some of the modes are removed from uh, from uh, participation in, in dynamics. Yeah. If this happens, it will be correct, and it would also mean that uh, hydrogen from the would not continue. This one doesn't How about this one? The uh, phenyl rings are heavy, and um, the complete phenyl ring is much heavier than a uh, uh, standalone silicon atom. So, it, uh, same as if we would have uh, infinitely rigid uh, wall that will prevent from surface uh, the surface uh, silicon atoms from oscillating at full amplitude. And it slows down the amplitude of uh, silicon uh, motion and reduces contribution of silicon uh, silicon silicon oscillations to the um, non elevated couples. So in order to check this hypothesis, one uh, one may take the Models uh, terminated by hydrogens, freeze the hydrogens and let uh, silicon split. Pretending that each uh, hydrogen is uh, something very heavy and inertial, then they will, uh, they will not move if uh, silicon approaches the hard box. And it will um, restrict the Amplitude of, of uh, carbon motion. And maybe we use the variable uh, of the body patterns. I guess that would just be like an artificial string. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, what did it do? What's the uh, mass of silicon? Yeah, from the L. It's a carbon. So, 28. And what is the mass of uh, six uh, carbons? Is there an atom that weights 72 or like 80? Let's say. Is there some uh, halogen uh, that would be chemically reasonable, like chromium or iodine? Are they close? Because making frozen hydrogens uh, would be a little too much, but if one would put like bromines or iodines and does see the slow down, it would be. More practical way in seventy nine point nine. Who? Okay. okay. Just not very easy. So same uh, order of magnitude. So in, instead, either constrain uh, and 
constrain and strain on hydrogen, or just replace all hydrogens by bromines and check if uh, it will be slowed down or the relaxation, then it will uh, coincide. It will be a hypothetical explanation. It, it doesn't mean that one, one, one needs to do it immediately. Uh, it, it can be done either after sending paper out and replying to a viewer, or just mentioning it hypothetically. But uh, some, some explanations is needed. The bromine form of covalent bond? Warming. Like silicon carbon, that's technical. Yeah, it will be different different type type of bond. You're right. But bromine uh, replaces hydrogen. It is uh, known to be stable. In the reasonable chemistry. What if one replaces uh, this hydrogen by uh, what is lower than silicon? Tin or, or white will not work. Tin, you have um, theoretic in front of you. Oh, I thought you were reading from the tables. You're reading from, from yeah, the I switched to it looking for a different thing. Germany. Okay. And mass? Uh. Okay, same same order. But standalone germanium is not chemical state, it still needs uh, hydrogens around it. But th th those are options if uh, if this uh, is a hypothesis to prove that it's just uh, mm, phenyl rings uh, minimize uh, the amplitude of, of, of simple motion. If this is the mechanism to uh, scroll down the message. Are there any uh, experimental evidence, experimental works on uh, this uh, surfaces or the carbon, the carbon, or the dose of silicon that is given? Is it a problem? Okay. Is it, uh, is it easy to check the uh, uh, lifetime of the recombination? It also, I think that uh, will be the question. So, Comparing to hydrogen, yeah. But the is like nanosecond. Okay. So. Yep. So this uh, result that uh, relaxation is uh, slowed down is uh, beneficial for the relaxation. It's longer if it is the same. The same effect for, for the recombination when pumping cream that uh, replaced hydrogen to this canvas not only makes it chemically more stable but also brings in some useful uh, biophysical properties. So it's possible to add this kind of ring and to bring and it looks like it, it brings a little bit of carbon for the business. More other questions to presenter or to actual person.
course, I'm suggestions with the new pedal. The only other thing I was going to say is for the temperature fluctuations, mm -hmm. it might be easier to see if you just track the average. Uh, so, uh, the average for me, there was a procedure of four intermediates when one uh, uh, takes a snapshot and optimizes my back. It, 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 it may take much longer uh, effort, but the case uh, Yes. Yeah, after each 10 steps, you extract the snapshot of the food out. So, there is extra and there's no way to find the energy to preserve The potential energy will be different from the other. Okay. Let's go for the time. And this potential energy versus the amount of the past that steps will be with the red line and jump. Okay, I think we're we done with this. I was just very excited about uh, opportunities. This project needs to be completed to untake hands and go through it. Um, if Senate uh, today's the 14th and Senate is on the 15th, so we have about three uh, meetings. Um, maybe, well, all, all questions about traveling or uh, details or not traveling will be done soon. What if everyone uh, who submitted an episode prepares it, uh, post it, and we do it one by one, and it will be maybe not next week, but in two weeks? Is it doable? Wait, so prepare what in two weeks? Poster. poster. Okay, poster. You know what is poster? Oh, it's yeah, a research poster. Yeah, a PowerPoint that summarizes uh, your results in one page, which will be then printed by like three by three feet. And you can project it on a screen and go along and show what, what it is about and what I mean. Things. Oh, everything on just one PowerPoint slide? Yes, but it is, um, you know, you can select the Osher templates or any, any one of the world can share templates. Um, when you edit uh, PowerPoint, there is a maybe in, in different format. I, I don't want to uh, waste your, your time, but there is a way to um, set up the size of the paper. The size of uh, each page. Right now it is set up for white screen. Okay. Another option is like uh, less better. And there is an option custom. And you can set, set the size of the post uh, for white screen feet. And then uh, when it will be submitted to the print shop, they will select a big piece of paper and it will be uh, the actual size. All right. And in order to avoid wasting of the paper for the intermediate version, you can show just things on the screen. I will uh, present it immediately in front of the audience and then uh, making some edits and then uh, make it sure. Okay. In two weeks, in this room, for the Got it. Possible? Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, next week, uh, we will leave it as a most of the time as a resource for. Expected things and maybe Aaron will give just a brief try of people because you are, you are submitted to for, for, for work, but 10 minutes long or something like that. Wait, so I haven't got it. I think I submitted it as a poster. You did? Yes. I think. I'll check. But I initially did it anyway, so I don't know. I think I double check. But, uh, yeah. Maybe it's uh, your work seems closer to completion because you didn't, didn't start dramatically in the project. And uh, you can do great and do one week error of all that. Mm -hmm. If it works. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I can try it. Okay, then we'll do one poster in a week. 
and as many as needed into it. And then we will repeat you know, once again if needed. Okay, well, many thanks for, for coming and uh, let's continue chatting by uh, emails and I'll also sit here and answer questions if something needs to be discussed at the But let's uh, finish the meeting, wishing you a pleasant and successful semester. Okay.